Weeks after the Abuja Kaduna train attack, a Northern Women Association and interfaith group have organized special prayers for victims who are still in captivity. They were also seeking the mine intervention over the worsening insecurity and other challenges bedeviling the nation. Our correspondent Habila Dorofai's report is presented from our studios. Hundreds of women, religious interfaith groups and children have converged here to seek God's help for the safe release of the abducted train passengers. On March the 28th, the terrorists attacked the train, killing nine passengers and abducting 62, including a pregnant woman and an 85-year-old woman. The president of the Jamaiya Martan Arewa, JMA, Haji Rabi Salawa, says women must lend their voices to this cause, considering the pains parents go through with a mass abduction on a daily basis. When we are mothers, we feel the, the pain of those families that were affected. The only thing we have is prayers. So we decided to call the family members and our women and our uh, Religious leaders, as you can see, Khan is here, JNI is here. Uh, let them pray for Ariwa. Let them pray for these victims. Let them also pray for our leaders to guide them, to give them the wherewithal for them to do what is right. The chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Ken, Kaduna State Chapter, Reverend Joseph Hayab, says insecurity and evil are on the rise in the society. And as such, everyone must come together to fight the scourge. People of faith, we will not give up praying just because evil continues to grow. We believe in God, we believe in his intervention, and we know he's going to intervene. So we are joining the families and joining all others' well wishes to seek the face of God that very soon our brothers and sisters who have been in this bush for a long time will come back. Governance is about protecting lives and properties. If you don't protect me, even if you build everything for me, I can use them because they are not useful to me. So protection of lives and property becomes the most ideal things we want today in Nigeria. We need two things, freedom and protection of lives and properties. Also, renowned Islamic scholar Sheikh Ahmed Gumi says the leader are pushing Nigerians into crimes because of the hardship in the land. He lamented that leaders are busy seeking political offices ahead of 2023, while 62 Nigerians are being held captive. We should do whatever we can do to get them out first. These people are in the bush, they cannot run away. They're in the bush, they cannot run away. So we just answer their needs immediately and free uh, the victims. And we pray that it will not happen again to anybody. And we pray that this nation will will unite together and uh, Allah will bring tranquility uh, in the nation so that uh, we prosper because with this insecurity we don't see any development coming. So we want the government to be proactive, to consult with people who are genuinely looking for this situation. This is no time for, for blaming other people. It's time to come together and see how that we, we get out of this problem. They urged families of the victims to hope on God, believing that they will be reunited with their loved ones soon. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.